Uh, so, um, uh, by the time you're doing a problem like this, then you're familiar with the basics, so we can um, jump right into it. So, just a reminder, the, inter the formula for integration by parts is um, that if you've got an integral of the form u dv like this, then you could say that it's equal to uv minus the integral of v du. And so we know that, you know, it's all important to pick the correct u and all that good stuff. And here, uh, the correct pick of u would have to be um, root 9 minus uh, 4x squared. So u equals uh, 9 minus 4x squared. This is the correct pick of u. Okay, and then that would mean that uh, dv is what remains, which is 1 over x squared um, dx. Well, with this pick of u and dv, uh, we'll have to write the v is equal to uh, negative 1 over x. And um, once we write u in a slightly friendlier form for the purpose of taking derivatives, um, we can find du. So du will have to be 1 half, starting from here, right? 1 half, chain rule is clearly involved. Uh, 9 minus 4x squared to the negative 1 half um, times uh, negative um, 8x times dx, right? Okay, cool. We can clean this up a little bit. Um, and that's like this. So this 2 is negative 8x reduced to a negative 4x right there. Um, but otherwise, not much else to do. So... Let's write negative 4x and then divided by, let's take this in the denominator and write it with a positive exponent, um, 9 minus 4x squared to the 1 half. We know 1 half power means square root, but I'd prefer to write this instead of the square root. Um, not good at drawing square root signs. Anyway, anyway. Um, <laughs> Now we've got all the pieces to execute this right hand side, right? Because what we're saying is like this left hand side is equal to our given integral. And now we've got all the pieces to uh, claim it in the right hand side form. Okay, so um, yeah. Um, this, where do I have room? Do I have room? Yeah, cool. All right. So then using the right hand side here, u dv, our given integral, is equal to uv. This here would mean we multiply this and that. That's uv. And that's negative root 9 minus 4x squared all divided by x. That's uv. And then minus, this minus sign is for that. And then integral. Um, and then v, negative 1 over x, and then du, and du is this fellow right here. So that's negative 4x divided by uh, let's try again. Okay, better, cool. And now before we move on, there's some simplifying we could do. This x and this x cancel. This minus sign and this minus sign turn into a plus. If we so chose, we can take that out and write it in front of the integral uh, behind that minus sign. And so we'll do all that. Doing all that means we write that our integral equals negative. And this I'm going to write is at 1 half power. I've done very well there, so I don't want to mess with it. 9 minus 4x squared to the 1 half over x. And then um, minus 4, and then times integral, ooh, times integral. And then it's dx divided by um, 9 minus 4x squared to the 1 half right okay cool 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 so now we are almost at the finish line and the only thing left to do is finish that integral at the end and we're good right 
Okay, cool. But wait, guys. Um, isn't it true that the integral of, uh, let's say we're using the variable a uh, or h, the integral of dh divided by uh, square root of 1 minus h squared, isn't that equal to arc sine of h plus c? That is. So that's how we're going to be able to figure out th this integral. And the 4, like we can multiply by later. But let's work on this. So here is what I think we should do. So again, we're working on this integral. So I'm going to rewrite it slightly differently. First, I'm going to write dx divided by. I'm going to return to the square root interpretation of the 1 half power. So we have square root. And then we would have 9 minus 4x squared. But we need to get from this to something like that. How do we do that? Well, first, notice that I could factor out the 9 and write 1 minus 4 over 9x squared. And then I know that I want this to be like one thing, one simple thing squared. So recognizing that 4, 9, and x squared are perfect squares, I see that I could just write 2 divided by 3x all squared. OK, cool. Um, and then, of course, like this 9, I can take out as a 1 third, and that's just simple square root rules. Cool, cool, cool. And with the substitution that h is equal to um, 2 thirds x, we can use good old like substitution, basic substitution, which we normally call u sub. We can use that, um, but we know that all oh, that'll do, like that, this kind of a substitution with h being two thirds, is in the end multiply right here by three halves. But other than that, we know we could just claim that this is h already and that this is dh. In other words, I'm saying that um, this integral changes into um, three halves times one thirds times the integral of uh, d dh over square root of uh, one minus h squared with the substitution that h be equal to um, two thirds x and the series of moves we followed to get to get to a place where we only had that substitution to make right there yeah cool 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 all right I'm laboring too hard on this part I think you know what I'm saying. All right, now here we can cancel this 3 and this 3, and like we said, the rest is history, which is that this integral, uh, which is our integral over here, is going to be like 1 half, and then it's, um, and then it's going to be arc sine of 2 thirds x plus c, right? Cool, 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 cool. So um, we don't need this now. Just a reminder of, I guess, our integral is good enough. Eh, could have done that one move, but okay, okay. Won't be too hard on myself. Um, all right. Um, so here's our final answer, that this integral equals negative, and I'll try my best on, yes, 9 minus 4x squared divided by x, and then it's minus it will be minus 4 times this, right? And the c I won't change into negative 4c. I'll just keep it as a c. But yeah, that's what we'll have. And so the minus 4 times the 1 half is just going to say minus 2. And then otherwise, it's arc sine of 2 thirds x plus c. Yeah? Cool. All right. I hope you enjoyed this. Take care.